Hello, my name is Alison Warner and I'm the Chief Editor of Orthodontic Products. We wanted to get some insight into the process of implementing Cloud9 software's cloud-based practice management platform into the orthodontic practice. So we reached out to Dr. Ruz Kashravi, an orthodontist in private practice in Washington State, to get his take. Hi, Dr. Kashravi. Hi, how are you doing? Good. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. So let's get started. Um, when did you adopt the Cloud9 platform? So I started um, looking into various platform, basically practice management softwares when I set up my startup clinic almost four years ago. And the options that I have were mostly um, the software that we could purchase the license, install it in the computer, and then or set up a server in our in our basically clinic and then use it. So I I opted to use Cloud9. And we'll get more into details of like why I decided to use that platform, but but, it, but we've been using it for about four years now. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about your practice or the one that you were setting it up within? Sure. So we we have a um we have we have two location, the practice that we have, we are kind of like a middle to small size practice. I prefer a type of boutique clinic. Um and we have about 50% adult patient, 50% kids. Uh, one practice is a little bit more suburb of Seattle area. The other one is in Bellevue, um, and you know we we are heavy digital, so it's extremely important for me to have a practice manager software that I can have access to it from everywhere. And that was the primary drive to pick Cloud9 as my primary, you know, practice management software. Okay. And then you mentioned that when you uh, adopt, when you were looking at Cloud9, you were setting up your startup practice was that your first practice or how long had you been practicing before that correct yeah that was my first first practice i used to work for corporate for a few years and then i was also teaching more at this school and then i transitioned to building my own practice and start um you know kind of cutting down a little bit in academia and then uh, switching completely to my own private practice as opposed to corporate okay so let's get into why did you choose cloud nine I think the biggest thing to me was that it, it has been or was at the time the only web-based um, platform, that it was like truly a, a browser-based platform. And that was huge to me. I mean, it's uh, there's a lot of platforms out there and they all um, suggest that they have a cloud-based version and they do, but it's still like you need to install something, get to a server. So it's like layers of you know connections as opposed to with Cloud9 from day one, it was a web-based server and, and they transitioned to HTML5, which was a huge, um, I, I think, improvement to me, you know, which we went through the whole process from Silverlight to the HTML5 version. Okay. Okay. Um, what was your onboarding experience? like we actually had a, i mean it, it was a start so like it was like me and two other people and then um it was a very kind of like personal and i now i think about it like you know post covid life you probably i i think this is going to change at some point but like so we had our onboarding with alex i don't really know if he's still with a company amazing trainer he used to be an orthodontic assistant so he really know the details of how an ortho practice works we spent almost half a day in Starbucks going through all the things that we need to dial down. Uh -huh. And then the second day, we spent more, you know, dialing everything down. And the practice was not even ready. So we did the onboarding process okay. the practice while it was under construction. And then um, he came back later and did just spent a day with us in the clinic. So I, it was amazing. I mean, it's very, very personal, very like detail oriented and like try to build the things that we wanted it. And that was the core that we had four years ago. And I built so much stuff up, you know, on that initial training that we had basically. Right. So what, so, I mean, maybe looking at those early days, but even as you've uh, been working with it for the last couple of years, how has your team's experience been with uh, the Cloud9 work day? They're, they're amazing. Like, um, I think the, the default question when they come to me and ask me like, you know, we, how do we do this? I mean, I created some video training because that's, that's what I do uh, and what I like to do. So we have some internal training that the team will use it. And then obviously things are evolving and changing and getting better. Um, and then they always call the cloud nine, figure it out. And the, 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 the team at cloud nine, they're really good receptive and walking everybody through. There are a lot of things about cloud nine that honestly, I don't know how to do it. My financial <laughs> coordinator knows it. The treatment coordinator knows it. 
Scatter recorder knows it, but I have a general understanding. And, and we know that every time when we call them, we get a really good support from Cloud9. Okay. And then in terms of using the platform on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, where do you think your team finds the efficiencies or where do you find the efficiencies? Again, to me, is he, the, the primary reason that I love Cloud9 is the web bank. So uh, any device, anywhere you can log in. Mm. Yes, the mobile version, it can be improved. And I think they know it, they're gonna work on it. There are some mobile version, you know, work in progress. But, you know, if I'm in the middle of the road and somebody texts me as like, what is going on? I can log in and get something out of it. Mm. By my computer, I'll just like connect from my phone to my computer and then look at the chart or look at the schedule, all those things. I think that's the primary thing. The second thing that I really like about Cloud9 is that everything is very customizable. So you can actually build whatever that you want within the boundaries of the software. Um, one of the features that I really like is the kind of like the to-do list, so task management uh, feature that is built into the software. So you can have, always like tie certain activities within the day-to-day -day practice into tasks. So let's say that if you know a patient come in here and their status XYZ appointment when they leave, and it will get assigned to somebody to do X, Y, and Z. And these if conditions, it really helps um, to automate the system. So there's not a lot of back and forth to try to remind each other, you know, we need to do X, Y, and Z every day. Okay. How You talked about this a little bit, or you mentioned it, um, but how has the platform evolved with your practices needs as it's grown? Sure. Uh, that's a great question. I think we are still into that 10 license but the, the, the beauty of it is that, you know, as we need it, we just add more licenses to it. I think there was some transition. I don't remember the exact details of it because it didn't impact us a ton. I think we're still kind of a nimble, small team and it worked pretty fine. But I can give you another example. When we started the second location, it was literally just like create another location and then everything stays the same. We wanted to keep it like that. We just like change the patient ID automatically changing the system. And that was it. That was it. Like I didn't need to set up another server. I didn't need to do anything. You just buy a computer, put it in there, put up a browser, and it's the same experience that we had in here. To me, that's huge. That was a huge game saver or time saver, I would say. Mm -hmm. for us. Okay, great. Uh, and then you talked a little bit about the customer service, but you know, how do you how do you feel about that relationship uh, where you are now? I think it's great. I I, I have a feeling that I mean. Every time when you want something, you can reach out to them, right? You know, I work with a lot of company in software development. When you work on software development, anything digital is going to go down. It's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem with the server. It's going to be a problem with the features. It's going to be a problem with implementation. To me, at least the team, you know, starting from Kevin on the top and going down to the other people, they're receptive. They want to hear what your problem is. They might be able to fix it tomorrow. They might not be able to fix it tomorrow. When you develop software, there are things that are a priority that you want to fix it because you're going to impact more people's life, more practices, as opposed to like one little feature that I think that is a good good feature to go. So I think holistically or collectively, I feel like, you know, you can get your, your concerns or your um, suggestion really across through the, through the system and to the, to the people that make decision over there. If you had to break it down, what's the, what really stands out to you that you really like about the Cloud9 platform? I think to me is that the, the, the software is reasonably simple to add and modify things. Like I'm going to give you an example and within that context, you can see what I mean. Like we, we started with now it's called legacy treatment card. And initially when I sat with Alex, when we set it up, that, that was the need and it was supposed to cover everything under the sun and we used that. Then as we started growing and we just, you know, trying to be up, create more efficiency in the clinic, we thought that, okay, so patients that are in, in clear aligners, they require different needs when you write notes about their interaction and the, 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 the appointment. What are the things that needs to be documented? It's very different from a fixed appliances, from a braces. And then when they're done with that, when they come to the retention phase, the needs of that treatment card is a little bit different. So it, it didn't take me too long to try to create these treatment card template for you know, now we have a legacy, which is the old version that we had. Some patients are still on that because we haven't moved them through, but the patient moved through the treatment, the clear aligner, and then in the clear aligner treatment card, you can easily write down, I mean, there are, there are specific questions that the system with a bunch of click, 
they put them all in the system. I mean, this is the aligners there are. Are they wearing it? Now they're wearing it. It's it it allows me to create a system that is going to be making day-to-day -day life easier. And that's what I like. When you think about, you know, I talk to other orthodontists and I get all these ideas that I'm like, okay, we want to work on efficiency. Let's add this to our practice management. It could be a report, it could be the way that we handle the patient, it could be the text. It could be the email, the, the document that goes out. From the time that I come with an idea to figure out how I have to put it in Cloud9, it's, it's, it's a very smooth process. You either call them and ask them what to do and they will walk you through it. They have a ton of video that you can go and download and watch it and learn how to implement these. Or you can just like play with things and figure it out. And I think to me, that's, that's the key. It, it, it reasonably customizable platform that it doesn't take too long to try to build whatever that you want. And then the fact that it's HTML base, it just, I am so obsessed with that feature because I can pull up my computer anywhere or any device and get to what I want. Great. Well, I think your insight will be really helpful for orthodontists looking at the Cloud9 practice management platform. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Kashravi. Thank you and so to much. Our viewers, oh, and to our viewers, thank you for joining us.